Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing good. In this video, I am going to explain a simple concept. How to generate a QR code. Mostly we use any of the website which provides the QR code based on your input. So that is feasible solution if you are just doing a testing need in your rental system or a development system, it's fine. But if we need the QR code for our business needs, then we have to consider whether the website needs a license to use or how long the website is available. Suppose tomorrow if they change the URL, it's not feasible solution to depends on the other website which is not licensed or which uh, have no idea how long is going to be used. Okay. And that is the case better we go with some internal solutions so one of the internal solutions in ABAP is generate your own QR code with the help of our own standard class and methods so that what we are going to see how to generate a QR code using ABAP um, objects okay so let's get into the slides so there are three steps involved to generate a QR code uh, in a BAP program. So three steps in with three different classes and its methods help us to generate a QR code for a text. So here the text which I'm going to use is I'm going to convert a web URL as a QR code. Okay, for example, sap.com. So I want to generate a QR code for sap.com. So I'm going to use that uh, as a text for my as an input. Okay. And the step one is the class name as well. Yeah, the class is um, RSTX barcode render, and the method is QR code. This is a static class, so I'm using without any object over here. And the two mandatory parameter as an input for this method is module size and barcode text. So module size is an any integer value you have to have to pass like 30 60 45 whatever it is and you have to pass a different model size depends on your need and then barcode text so what is the text which you want to convert it as a qr code so as i mentioned i'm going to use sap.com as a text for my um, qr code so that is a input for this barcode text parameter and then export parameter what i'm receiving from this method is an string value so i'm going to re receive an string value in step one so once it is received, and I forgot the step two, the extreme value is the input for uh, my step two method. So step two is CLBS convert and extreme to uh, raw data. So this method which uh, is going to convert the value of extreme to a raw data value. And here extreme is maybe you can use a variable, but here raw data is an internal table form. So you need to receive more than one row as a raw data. So once the raw data is ready, you can do whatever you want. So the step two, I have a raw data of the QR code. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it. Okay. So for download, I'm going to use a class called GUI frontend service and GUI download. So here the input parameters are the file size of your extreme value. Just it's very simple. We have a text string length so using that particular um, function i'm going to get the value of the extreme parameter and then uh, file to be download file name of to be download so whatever name you want you can just give and file type is ben so probably this is the first spelling mistake is file so file type is ben and finally uh, i have to give the changing parameter as raw data whatever i received from step two i have to pass that is also one of the input in the changing parameters okay so that these are the things which we have to give once this is done automatically the program once you execute the program it's download your qr code in the specific directory okay so uh, once it is successfully you can download it just play around with this options so here change the integer value i can see and you have a error connections error correction is one of the parameters so you can give different value just go to the um, method and find the fun find the documentation of this method so it will give the value for the error correction it's like l n i believe so you can just change it and you can see what is the uh, different form of the qr code is getting downloaded okay so nothing else that's it so let's get into the uh, system and write the code and see how it's getting downloaded okay 
this is my rental system so the step one is going to be so what is your module size and which text you want to generate it as a QR code so go to pattern web object patterns and the first one is uh, CLRX TX underscore that's the first one barcode render so here convert barcode into BM, BMP graphics so it's going to be uh, converted as a graphic file so this one and uh, QR code I believe I have some issues in listing the value oh it's fine so previously it just shows the same window with all the line at 14 entries but it's not showing the value it's good now so go to this qr code enter and module size uh, i go in 30 right so i'll go with 40 and these are optionals so so the this one i asked you to just play around what is the error correction mode and everything there are some difference if you uh, give the values depends on that your qr code is green generated so this and text would be https uh, cp.com okay and then importing parameter as the extra so here i'm going to give data uh, as this is a class and method so you can go the uh, runtime on the floor declaration you can go or inline declaration so data local with evil for okay extreme value okay so better you always go with try catch okay so this is step one and step two is going to be the convert my x string into a raw data format so that is going to be happen in step two so here above object patterns and this is going to be the bcs convert class and the method is x string to solix format so here it is so this is the uh, x string whatever we have received in the previous step lb x string and this is going to be your internal table of raw data okay so we are almost done and step 3 so finally i'm going to download it okay so here I'm going to use a class CLGUI front end services GUI front end ups. Sorry, front end services, and the method is GUI download. So here I need a file size so let me get the file size LV. file size is x str length of my x string variable okay that's it so that is going to be the file size here file name um, in this system in this rental system i don't have the right access for c or d drive so i just give only the file name not the drive directory actually directory information so what happens is it automatically creates a file in a default directory so sap sap gui is a default directory that i have access so i'm not mentioning any directory over here so but you have an access of your directories please give the entire path of your file name so here uh, qr1 and the file type is bin and one more parameter we have to use that is your raw data 
so just I'm deleting these things because uh, we're not using this now and changing so changing as it raw data okay so exceptions it's always better just enable it but currently I'm just deleting it just show the entire code in a single screen okay so I have closed my exceptions here so three steps I have done so sab.com and extract and everything okay so save check it act about it okay so once you execute this needs to download a qr code in a folder the folder i have opened already so document sab sab is a, it's a default one so i'm going to execute it um so here the file type so i didn't add it so here i can say jpg so that is important so qr1 file name dot your extension of your file name and act to order otherwise it's not generated as a, a qr so then i'm going to execute it okay done now go to the file so here it is qr code so um i i don't have an option just test it and show you if you uh, scan this automatically go to a, a sap.com so everybody has a, a smartphone so just if you have a qr scanner just qr uh, just scan this then it automatically goes to uh, the website was belongs to this one this qr code okay um just for my need i'm just scanning this here now with my mobile yes yes it's 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 showing it's going to sap https slash sap.com so this is a way uh, you have to generate any qr code using these three simple steps okay just play around with this and if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye